The United States will always promote human rights and the value enshrined in the United Charter in our own country and around the world. Human rights are the basis for all that we seek to achieve. And yet today in 2022, fundamental freedoms are at risk in every part of our world. From the violations of in Xinjiang, detailed recent reports by the Office of UN and US reports detailing by the US High Commissioner, to the horrible abuses against pro-democracy activists and ethnic minorities by the military regime in Burma, to the increased repression of women and girls by the Taliban in Afghanistan. So, the United States government Five permanent members of the Security Council just reaffirmed that commitment in January. But today, we're seeing disturbing trends. China is conducting an unprecedented concerning nuclear buildup without any transparency. We seek to uphold peace and stability across the Taiwan Straits. We remain committed to our One China policy, which has helped prevent conflict for four decades. And we continue to oppose unilateral changes in the status quo by either side. Let me be direct about the competition between the United States and China. As we manage shifting geopolitical trends, the United States will conduct itself as a reasonable leader. We do not seek conflict. We do not seek a Cold War. 